Up first this evening, one of five people who were shot in a drive-by shooting in central Kingston yesterday evening has died. The shooting resulted in a high-speed police chase, which ended in Harborview, St. Andrew. The deceased is 20-year-old Dante Goburn of a central Kingston address. We understand the other victims are in stable condition. Now, aside from the motive for the shooting, the police are also investigating how the gunmen got hold of license plates, which are only used on official government vehicles. Kirk Wright has that story. Here's where the five people were shot last evening, four men and a woman. It took place at the intersection of George's Lane and Law Street in central Kingston. The police believe the five were shot in reprisal for previous shootings in a long-standing gang conflict. The division has been plagued with ongoing gang violence, so the attack, we believe, is... Um, associated with the continued gang violence in the division. So last evening, sometime after 6, the gunmen traveling in a Toyota Probox motor car went to the intersection of George's Lane and Law Street and fired on the five people. One died later in hospital. Um, Dante Goburn, a 20-year-old uh, laborer, was, uh, has succumbed, unfortunately. Um, he is not a known violence producer. A police team from the Kingston Central Police Division witnessed the shooting and started a chase which ended up in Harborview. The police unit seemed to have ended up in the back of the getaway car, which crashed in a signpost at the gas station in Harborview. Four men from the Pro Box were arrested and two guns seized. Mm. Without saying much about the men who were held yesterday, um, are they known any at all to the police? Are they from this division? Yes, um, a few of them are known to us. But the license plates that were affixed to the car the gunmen were traveling in had on those only used on official government vehicles. The, there is an ongoing investigation regarding the license plate, which is a government plate. Um, at this time, we don't have much information, but the investigations are ongoing. The police commissioner has praised the police for capturing the suspects. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.